All right, when you want to go ahead and take your climate control uh, module out of the truck, what you're going to do is the easiest thing is just to put the car in, in drive with the ignition off, put it in, all the way in park so that it's not in your way, and then you're going to take a pry tool and you're going to pry on the lower panel of the console because first you have to remove the lower panel where the 12 volt accessories are you're going to pop that panel down once you pop that panel down you can leave it down and you can pull up on the bottom of your climate control and that section will pop out then all you do is you just release the tab on the back pull up on it a little bit and once you remove this from the back of the climate control you're ready to put it on the bench and take out the cluster okay once you've taken the center console apart and removed your climate control knob panel there's gonna be one two three four five six Phillips head screws on the back plate that you're gonna to have to remove and then there's also gonna be four small clips if you look right where my thumb is at here here and here you have to push those back slightly with one hand while pulling up on the case with the other hand here that's gonna separate your back panel from your case housing once you've opened up your case housing you're gonna see three white knobs from the back side here here it's real important that you notice the position which the flat spot is sitting at on these white knobs what I've done is I've taken a permanent marker and I've made a small mark to notate where the flat spot is so in case they move I can bring it back to that spot afterward see the middle one sits at a slight angle and the two on the outer side sit pretty much up and down after you've marked those you can flip over your panel pull to the side your face plate make sure you put it somewhere where it doesn't get scratched now you have your knobs your knobs are going to have a position. You want to set it so that your part that illuminates is sitting straight up on all three. And then you're going to mark with a little bit of white paint where the, where the knobs sit. So once you take them off, you can still return it on this side back to center also. And then you're going to go to each knob and there's a, a small opening. There's four on each one. And you're going to take a small flathead screwdriver or something you can push in there to push back on the tab. Once you push back on the tab, you can pull slightly up on, on the silver knob, the factory knob, and you can just pull it right off. Once you've pried up on all four of those little tabs around the silver knob, where you're going to end up with is you're going to see this part. You're going to make sure that your white mark is still lined up with the bottom a hole down here and then you're just gonna gently uh, line up make sure your 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 lighted part is facing up line up your tabs and just push down slightly on it and make sure it locks into place then you're gonna flip it over and make sure that none of your marks on your small white knobs have moved the flat spot still needs to remain lined up with the two marks that you made with the permanent marker once again the, the outer sides are going straight up and down and the middle one is at a slight angle after you put on all your knobs you're just going to put the top back on the housing put in your six phillips head screws and then once you flip it over you're going to see a beautiful set of the new ajt control knobs Hey guys, Adam with AJT Design here with uh, just a little bit of a supplement to the video, um, mainly regarding the position of these little white gears 
relative to the knobs. Um, when you're doing this um, disassembly here, one thing I would highly recommend is once you get this out of your truck, turn all the knobs up to the top dead center position just like this. Um, same procedure if you have a second gen like this or a third gen with the three knobs. Turn them just like this. Note the positions of those white gears. Um, take a photo with your phone. You know, take a Sharpie and mark them. You could do this on the back side as well. There is a little flat that's going to be turned to a specific position. Um, and it's a really good idea just to mark all those and know where they're at before you take it apart. Um, now this is a panel that I've had for several years. This has been completely taken apart, but put back together. So these positions are all off. If you went to put this back into an actual truck, the controls would be all messed up. And that's what I'm trying to avoid um, having anybody um, do that. The reason why this could happen is when you go to take these off, again, when you remove these, you can see these little slots right there. You put your screwdriver in, you kind of press it, and you kind of work it around. There's four of them. I'll do that right now on the bench here. Press it in. This isn't too hard. It doesn't take a lot of force. So usually once I get one in, I kind of work it around. Maybe get two that are next to each other. Starts to come off. Don't use a lot of force. Work your way around. You got three of them. Usually once you get three, the whole thing, I get that fourth one. We'll kind of tend to want to go. So once you get those, it comes off pretty easily. Now what this thing, when this thing pops off, it pops off from uh, this ring right here. And this ring underneath here you can see right there it has gear teeth that mesh with this white gear here. Now if you're not careful or if you use too much force, this thing will come right off. And I know this because it's happened to me. Um, this one feels like it's on there pretty good. But this can come off and if that happens, you're going to lose your engagement with this white gear. And if you don't put it back exactly the way it was from the factory, when you put this all back in your truck and plug it in, your controls are not going to function properly. And the only way to fix that um, is going to be trial and error to get it back to where it was. Um, now for the third gens, um, the guy who made the uh, video that you just watched did a pretty good job of showing what his looked like from the factory. I'm assuming they're all like that, but I'm not 100% sure. And for the second gen, I don't at this time have a good picture of what it looks like, what the factory settings look like, meaning if you put all these to top dead center, what these positions look like on the back. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, at some point, we will probably have somebody figure that out for us so we can provide that in, in case you forgot to mark them and they get out of position. But um, for now, what I would, I would highly recommend, it just takes a few extra minutes, note the positions of the white gears either with these flats or just take a Sharpie on the gears themselves with all the knobs facing up so that when you put the new knobs back on or on, just press right into place and all the new ones are facing facing up like this you can verify that the white gears are in the same place and then you won't have any issues that's it